So this channel is about masses of the universe and metal. And why? Because they are a big part of my world. And those two elements really came together when I saw the first um, pictures of a new toy line called, at the time, Lords of Power. More about that later. Um, eventually it turned into Legends of Dragonor, and those figures were so awesome it gave me immediately that 80s vibe. They were exactly the figures that I've been looking for for years. And when I saw the team that was behind it, Emiliano, uh, Josh and, and Peer, um, I definitely uh, um, was even more excited because I know them from the books they released, the figures they made, the, the drawings that were made. And I mean, if you're a He-Man fan, you know what those guys meant uh, uh, ever since, well, the brand was coming back uh, because of pure nostalgia. And um, so I immediately envisioned some kind of a tune that would fit with that cool toy line. Um, I couldn't stop myself from writing it and I asked Amanda, my wife, to come up with the demo vocals. Um, I had a really 80s themed soundtrack in mind that, that would fit with a possible cartoon. And when I wrote it and when Amanda did the vocals, I contacted Emiliano. And um, it, it was so cool because, uh, yeah, they're kind of my idols. Um, yeah, of course you've got you've got people in the music scene that you look up to but it's the same with the masters of the universe brand and he loved the song and he played it for the rest of his team and they loved it as well and like that it became actually the song the the title track of the toy line legends of dragonor uh, and that was a huge honor uh, to me and getting Amanda involved with the backings, the whole choir part, I'll play that for you later. Uh, of course, Ralph Shaper's uh, Primal Fear, uh, a band that, that I loved since they started mid 90s, uh, getting him involved to, to sing the main line. And it, it was just, um, just a, a magical feeling. So this is the guitar that I used to record the album. I use this guitar a lot. It's one of my Gibson Explorers. I love those guitars, especially for the crunchy sound I need for this kind of music. And, um, but I did have to change the main riff, just a tiny bit. Um, the ones who've been following Legends of Dragonor since the beginning might know that it was not called like that. It was actually called Lords of Power. Well, they weren't allowed to use that name after all. And my main riff was for focus on this. Lords of Power. So the riff would actually follow the vocal line. Well, all of a sudden it was Legends of Dragon, or how could we fit that in? So we had to do it like this. Legends of Dragonor. Worked as well. This line could stay. So that was cool. But Amanda and Ralph had to sing the chorus again and they did that for the love of the brand Legend of Dragonor so that was really cool. The king of power metal Ralph Schepers from Primal Fear delivered this line. Legends of Dragonor Rolling the mansions exploring the galaxy Legends. Super cool voice for this kind of stuff and I was really super happy that he wanted to be involved and then of course, I got my own best singer in the world and in the house, Amanda Somerville, and she delivered this awesome choir. Legends of Dragon Law. So this is all Amanda, also the low voice. Legends of Dragon Law. Which makes it, of course, the chorus super epic. And then if you listen, for example, to the nice contribution uh, Jeroen Hendricks did on the keys. He gave it this 80s touch. With those cool sound effects. And that makes it, that makes it for me recognizable in, uh, in, 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 a, in a way that it's, that it's 80s, that it reminds me of my childhood. And that fits, of course, perfectly with the line that form was set up. Check out Legends of Dragonor. Check out what they're doing now. The, the, the company behind it is called Formal. 
They're doing really cool stuff. I cannot wait to have the actual figures here and I'll definitely devote an episode to that as well when they arrive. Um, but man, it was so much fun doing this kind of stuff and see the song also being reworked in a visual uh, video that they put together with, with really cool drawings with pictures of the line. So this is where masters and metal come together in a perfect way for me. Mm -hmm. 